I'm so sorry, sir. No, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's, it's, it's you can fine. use my water to wash off yeah. the mud on your body. No, it's okay. Um, my place is not far from here. I'll just go home and change. It's, it's okay. I don't know how far your home is, but going on like this is not good at all. You can use my water. I'll go and fetch another one. All right. If you Let say me get so. it. All right. Thank you. Are you mad? What are you trying to do? Eh? Ungozi, I am not mad. I want to give him my water to wash his body. Hey! Gineka, why is it that you always want to act like a good girl? Can you imagine? How can you give your water to a total stranger and then go to the stream to fetch again? Huh? Huh? Nika, calm down. I am not acting like a good girl. I am a good girl. Besides, it is right you help people whether you know them or not. Gineka, the good American, we'll be on our way. Why is there and keep rendering help who you don't know? Is this good, Joe? That one is good. Okay, can you help me just hold this? Okay, hold this. Just take this. So sorry. It's okay. Um, thank you so much. Your trouser. Oh, okay, please. Uh, I think it's that bad. Maybe I should just go home. No worry. Huh? I actually can't. I can't wear this for too long. Let me just go home. I really appreciate this. All right. It's not a problem. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Thank you. Your ring. All right. No, I heard that um, your harvest was very, very bountiful. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thanks to the land you gave to me. Oh. Honestly, the land is too fertile. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's my honor. <laughs> um, you see, that's why I want my people to be prosperous and happy. That's the way, you know, life should go. Where everybody is talking about you. You are too good. We are enjoying your reign. Uh, there's another thing. Yes. I, I think uh, you have to call back the prince to come and witness this year's New Year festival. You know, so he can learn more of our custom and tradition. Mm. No. Is there anything about our custom and tradition that he came, my son does not know. You know, I taught him so well. Mm. Yes, I did. Okay. In that case, let him come and stay a little time with me. As the grandson of the oldest man that ever lived in this community and the traditional prime minister of this land, I think there's a lot he's going to learn from staying with me. No, I think you're right. You know, we can never know it all. Um, in that case, when he returns, I will tell him to come and see you. That is it, Igwe. It's very important. Yes. <laughs> we know we can never know all. Uh -huh. You know, my son is intelligent. That's okay. Yes, so. <laughs> um, Ikem. Mm -hmm. Mabel told me that she's pregnant for you. Why would she tell you that? Uh, because she was looking for money to abort the baby. Abort the baby? Why would she do a thing like that? Now let me ask you, are you ready to get married to her? Even if you are, she's not from your town, of course, you know. Uh, but even, uh, even at that, that's not the reason she should think of aborting a child, okay? That's not enough reason. Oh. It can, is it not better uh, you give her money to abort that pregnancy? No, 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 don't say that. I don't, I don't stand, Because I it's, don't it's somehow bringing a child into this world and you know vividly, very well that you cannot take care of that child. What do you mean I cannot take care of the child? Are you normal? Even if I have 50 children today, I can take care of them. 
I have what it takes to take care of my children. Really? Yes. Even if I adopt a lot of children, I can take care of them. I go to motherless baby's home to take care of children. Talk more of my own child. What are you saying? Of course I can. So are you saying you want to marry her? <sighs> well, I just, I don't know for now, but I'm being hopeful. Since you came back from Canada, this is the only habit you came back with that is pissing me off. Well, Mom, I think the grades that I came back home with has covered everything. I came back with flying colors. And come to think of that, you know, you all won't understand how cold it is over there. No one is going to stay in Canada without finding one or two ways on subsidizing with the weather. I mean, it's so cold over there, and over time, this became a habit for me. I'm going to try and stop it, but that will be when the gods want me to. For now, bear with me, Mom. Please. You're not supposed to wait for the gods to stop you, because you're back in your father's land. And the weather here is friendly. Anyway, let's forget about that and discuss more important issues, the reason I'm here. Why is it that you are not interested with the affairs of this community? You're just behaving like a commoner. Not again, mom, not again. I am not the heir apparent to the throne. Of what use would it be to me if I get to learn everything concerning this kingdom? I mean, what would I do with it? I don't, I don't think I need it. Can you just listen to yourself, Izuna? Why are you saying that? Are you trying to tell me that the elders that knows about the affairs of this community, that they are the hair apparent to the throne? Ah, mom, you said elders, elders, elders. I'm a young man and I'm not an elder. Mom, please, can we just, anything about this learning about kingdom, can we just keep it aside? I mean, I have more personal things that are choking me, things that I should concentrate on and not this kingdom related matters. <sighs> Your father will honestly be disappointed to hear you say this. <sighs> um, Mom, let's change the topic, please. I've got issues that are bothering me. Lately, I've been seeing he came in danger. What's happened to my son? What is wrong with him? There's nothing wrong with him. It's in the dream. <sighs> what I don't understand is why I keep seeing it came in a series of dreams. And in those dreams, I don't like the situation of things. I don't know why the face keep repeating. You nearly killed me. But thank the gods, it was only a dream. Would you mind relating to me what you dreamt of? It's just a dream. I thought he is your friend. That's why I told him about it. But you're not supposed to tell him that. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to confide in me. We're in this together. And then he, he said something about you requesting money for abortion. Why would you even think of that? Because I'm not ready to have a child now. You and I know what happened between us was a mistake. And I'm not ready to have a child who is born out of a mistake. Listen. That is a royal blood. It was never a mistake. Okay? And I can never, ever be part of abortion. I can't. Soil my hands. <sighs> I wish I had money. If only I had money. I won't even tell you about it. I'll just go ahead. 
I don't even need you to go with me. I'll just take care of everything myself. You don't even need to go with me. What's this? I just need money. I need money to do this. Can you listen to me? I don't know why you're tensed. Like I said, we're in this together. It's just to put heads and know how we can sort this out. Now I'm ready to be the father. I'm ready to take responsibility for anything at all. Bravo. Bravo. Yeah. Well said, exactly. You're ready to take responsibility. I'm ready to be the father. The father. So what happens to me? So this is the plan you actually have for me? That I should be a single mother. Me, a single mother? Have you seen what happens to, to single mothers in our society today? I promise you, I won't let that be my lot. Since you're not ready to give me money to abort the child, I'll look for another way and I'll get rid of it myself. Look, look, listen, please. I am the crown prince of a Uto kingdom. What will people say? It's an abomination. That's what I'm trying to say. And you didn't really allow me to finish. No, no one is talking about you being a, a single mother. I am here to support you as the father. Please, don't think of abortion, please. Do not think of abortion. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I told you about it in the first place. But guess what, Prince? He came. If I walk out that door, I promise you will never set your eyes on me again. Sorry. It's okay. It's, it's, you it's can fine. use my water to wash off the mud on your body. No, it's okay. Um, my place is not far from here. I'll just go home and change. It's, it's okay. I don't know how far your home is, but going on like this is not good at all. You can use my water. I'll go and fetch another one. All right. If you Let say me get so. it. All right. Thank you. Are you mad? What are you trying to do? Eh? Ungozi, I am not mad. I want to give him my water to wash his body. Hey, Gineka, why is it that you always want to act like a good girl? Can you imagine? How can you give your water to a total stranger and then go to the stream to fetch again? Huh? Gineka, calm down. I am not acting like a good girl. I am a good girl. Besides, it is right you help people whether you know them or not. Gineka, the good Samaritan, will be on our way. Why is there and keep rendering help to you don't know? Is this good job? I mean, it's good. Okay, can you help me just hold this? Okay, hold this. Just like this. So sorry. It's okay. Um, thank you so much. Your trousers. Oh, okay, please. 
I think it's that bad. Maybe I should just go home. No worry. Huh? I actually can't. I can't wear this for too long. Let me just go home. I really appreciate this. All right? It's not a problem. Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Thank you. Your ring. Sorry. Got a girl in, in school pregnant. You got a girl in school pregnant, and your face is like this. <laughs> Aren't you happy that the royal household is going to expect this soul? How dare you? I mean, why should you do? <laughs> wow! <laughs> so it means I'm going to be a grandmother very soon. Yes, yeah. Go and bring her to me. Guys, that was good. Again, okay, you know, you are the crown prince of this kingdom and you should be bold at what decisions you make. Um, although it's, uh, it's wrong for you to impregnate a girl out of wedlock. But that's okay. But you you need to learn to be bold at whatever decision you are decided to make. That's what I've been teaching you all these years. <laughs> Why is your face this way? Don't you love her? Oh, I, I do. I do. Just... Because I, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I got it. You think it's going to distract you from taking your exams? Never to worry. Just bring her to us and be assured that we we'll take very good care of her. Yes, son. Bring her. Maybe you don't know what you have just done. You have changed my status. I'm going to be a grandfather. And I'm going to be a grandmother. The latest grandmother in this community. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I will, I will, I'll bring her by a weekend. Yes, I'm just, but it's fine. I'll, I'll bring her by a weekend. <laughs> I feel like a glass of wine. Okay, I need I really need to run along. I have something doing in school. Alright, okay. right. good day, Dad. Bye, Mom. So done. Why did you call me here? My father wants to see you. What? Yeah, I told him about the pregnancy. Why F would you do that? I told, I told you to forget about it. Why are you so hell-bent in putting him into trouble? Why did you get the king involved? Because it's not just me. This is a royal blood. The entire kingdom is aware of it already. It's not just me. Oh, uh, I see what you're doing. You just want to get me into trouble. Look, I'm not getting you into trouble, my dear. No, 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 no. I have already booked a date with a doctor, and that's fine now. No, you can't do that. I know we just met, okay, and you see what happened as a mistake. But you can't obviously get rid of the pregnancy. He's a royal blood. Please. Give me the opportunity to be a father. Don't tell me that. You, 
I'm not ready to be a father. I am ready to be a father. If I'm not ready to be a father, I won't be clamoring for you to keep the child. Of course, I'm ready. I want to be a father. I'm begging, please. You can't get rid of him. Is there anything you are hiding from me? Mabel! Oh? Is there anything you are hiding from me? No, I'm fine. <sighs> Mabel, are you pregnant? Really? So, out of all the 99 problems or challenges anyone could face, you think pregnancy is my problem. Mom, why is that whenever you look at me, you see pregnancy? What's this? I don't know. I don't understand you either. Maybe I do not understand you these days. You never used to keep secrets from me. But all you do these days is sit down one place, stare into the space as if you're seeing some spiritual beings. Mom, what exactly is the problem? Because it's obvious, or at least I've been told, that you can never really satisfy humans. And you're beginning to prove that point to be correct. Come on, Mom. If I go out of this house, you complain that I always go out. Now I'm seated here all by myself, just minding my business, and you still have a problem with it. Can you please just leave me alone, please? <laughs> ah, maybe I'll, I will leave you alone. Thank you. I will let you be. Mm. But when this problem becomes bigger than you can handle, <laughs> I will remind you that you asked me to let you be. <laughs> oh no, mm -hmm. I hope your wife is not at home. Ah, it's your Uchi. Today is all your market. Okay. What will make Ned to be a tomb around by this time? But is there any problem? Yes. The conversation I came with is highly confidential. And I want it to be between you and I alone. What is it about? Uh, some people came from the Kube community demanding to buy some portion of land from the land that the king gave me for farming. You know, their offer is mouth-watering. But you see, the fact is this. I'm afraid that the king might know about it. Mm. <laughs> Who is that again? I'm suspecting you. You <laughs> sound as if you know about it already. Huh? Uh, well, it's your Kuchi. Huh? It's still I'm into since last year. And I'm cashing out big time on it. Whoa! <laughs> oh no! Is that? But you know, we are good friends. Huh? Why don't you tell me? 
Is it not supposed to be a secret? Yes, but uh, if... No, but... Any information that goes beyond one person hmm. is no longer a secret. I hope you are going to keep this a secret between two of us. Ah. Oh, no. I promise. Hmm? I really, really promise. You don't know me to be a talkative, do you? Well, let's do this. Eh, no, do I? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> oh, no. Give us a drink now, give us a drink. It's all right. Um, uh, who is there? He can just think about it this way. Why don't you just go ahead and send that girl away? I set you under some kind of influence. So what happens to my child in the womb? Oh, get off it. You and I know that that thing in her womb is not a child yet. Of course you're educated. You should know better than I do. Are you in any way supporting that I abort my child? What are you even saying? Well, it's obvious that that might be the only way out of this situation. Because if she goes ahead to have that child, you know you can be king until her father dies. Then you will marry her. And not just marrying her, she would be a second wife to you. In reality, the king our father does not look like one who is dying anytime soon. Talks maybe 50 years or even more. So tell me, is that girl going to wait till that time? That's a thing. Well, I... Not in any way... A support of abortion. I can't... Spill an innocent blood. Especially when it has to do with... My child. He's not a child. Why don't you give that girl, offer her money? Enough of this, please. I think I failed as a son. I'm sorry for disappointing you. I'm deeply sorry for what happened. I remember explaining this to you over and over again over the years. That your first child must come from a woman that is a native of this village. A woman that is not from this community cannot be the mother of a king of this land. Your action goes to show that my admonition over the years fell on deaf ears. I'm sorry. It was just a one night stand. Let's just stop crying over spirit milk. I think the best thing you should do now is to give her some money and send her away. Just settle her. The problem is that I don't want to stain my hands with innocent blood. You don't have to go tell her to abort the child. All you do is give her some money as a form of settlement and tell her not to come close to you. If she goes ahead to abort the baby, afterwards then no one is going to blame you. If I give her money now, she will have bought it. It's not about the money. It's not about her. It's about my child. Do you want my child here? Because there is no child yet. And you are not going to have that child. Give her some money. 
send her away. Is that too much to do? Is it a difficult thing to do? Do you love her? Then you must be a fool. Don't make me regret calling you my son. How dare you? How could you let yourself fall in love with someone you know you can never marry? Everyone in this community can choose any life they want and live to it. But not you. You cannot just choose any life. You cannot live any life. Because you are the heir apparent to the throne. Well, let me put you through this. Because it's going to be a strong determining factor when you finally make your decision. If you go ahead and marry that girl, that translates to the obvious fact that you have said that your younger brother should be the king after me. And that means, in your lifetime, you will never be a king. I really want you to know what is at stake here. And I really do not care to know what's at stake. Come on. Tell your brother to leave me the hell alone. Okay? What, 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 what's this? Why are you making it look like I'm the one hanging on to him? The fact you don't know is that my brother cannot marry you. <sighs> my brother cannot marry a non-indigene as his first wife. If he tries it, or insist on doing so. That means he has made up his mind to relinquish the throne. And didn't he know all of this before he started flirting with me? Made love to me without protection, released inside of me. Didn't he know all the while? Well, I, I try to understand why all of this. Well, let's say Maybe he was carried away by your beauty. Of course, you know you're beautiful. Please spare me all of that. Tell your brother to give me some money to abort the pregnancy. I will have to talk to my brother to give you the money. But if he gives you the money, promise me that you will not come for him again. You people won't even let me be with him after all. So why hang on to someone who will never be my husband? Anyway, I'm on an errand. I have to go. How do I find you? Same way you found me now. Sweet. That was sweeter than everything I could imagine. But is it possible to give up my throne for the love I have for her? This is really hard. You sent for me? Yes. Um, sorry, my name is... Prince Ikem. You want to be my friend? The answer is no, I'm not interested. But you wouldn't take no for an answer, would you? <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> well, I just wanted us to be friends and, you know... I can see this is going to take a really long time because we'll keep going back and forth. And I'm really, I'm not in the mood for all of that right now. My answer is no, not interested. 
Please, can you at least give me a listening ear? At least you. Can you just stop begging me? You're making me look arrogant. And as it stands, since we really do not have anything to discuss, I have to go now. Have a beautiful day. Yeah, who is that? Hey. Hi, please, please sit. Thank you. Wow. How did you find me here? Well, a golden fish has no place to hide. Oh, I get. The prince obviously can't hide. Tell me, why did you stop talking to me? Because at some point you made me feel like I was bothering your life. And you decided to stop. But you should have tried harder. <laughs> not on your mind. That's not manly of you. Well, I wouldn't know if I am. Um... Come in. Hey. Uh, you came. Bro, what's up? Yeah, cool. How's it going? I'm okay. I'm okay. Make yourself comfortable. Your mood. What's this? Huh? But uh, she won't understand. I know it's because of my bell. No. You can, why can't you? Like, I know very well you're not into this girl. But I wonder why you can't discard her. What are you still waiting for? But you know it's not easy. How is it not easy? I love her. Yes, you told me that. But you later stopped the relationship sooner than it took you to get it. It came, let me just be honest to you now. Um, I've not known you for, for long. But I think... You make mistakes in your dealing. Yeah, you jump into things midway and suddenly you realize that I shouldn't have started it in the first place. I've, I've noticed that about you and it's very bad. Before you do things, first of all, you check, calculate, ask questions. Yeah. But who wouldn't? I saw her, loved her, love her actually, and she's kind to me. So she won my heart, but at some point I thought about this, that you know you cannot marry this woman because she's not from the same village. But at that point I've gone far, I've gone, I've gone, I've gone far that I don't know how to draw myself back. Love is something that when it dwells in you, it goes in every part of your body, including your soul. That's the point I am right now with her. And you know how hurtful that can be, right?
it's been three days. Three whole days. And you haven't called. Hmm. You see the reason why I was avoiding you at first? Because I knew after you got what you wanted, you would just discard me easily. Hey, look, hey, look. I can't explain. What exactly do you want to explain? Tell me. That your village people miraculously came and deleted my number off your phone. Or that the beauty that got you attracted to me in the first place has suddenly disappeared. What can you possibly tell me? Made you to stop loving me. I didn't stop loving you. Oh. It's just that. It's just that you, you have gotten what you wanted. So there is no need for the chase anymore. No. It's far from that. You know, what happened was just... What happened, Prince Ike, is of no use to me. It doesn't really matter to me anymore. I mean, you know, you know the funny thing? I thought you were different. I, I saw you... I thought you were decent. But just like the rest of them... Just three days and you've changed your mind. After it took you three good months to get that girl. Became, uh, what kind of woman did I you? Well, this, uh, I've realized that now I've decided to amend things. Yeah, I, I blame myself for this whole thing. That's, that's the reason I, I want to make amends now. I know that girl is afraid of you. Yeah, she is. Uh, because you can still wake up one morning and decide not to take care of the baby. No, that can never be me. He said I would take the child and train, train the child myself. I can't do that. You can. I think. Keeping that pregnancy will affect you negatively. Yes. For your future and for the girl's future too. I suggest you give her money to do away with the pregnancy. Ah, oh, hell no. Don't even say that. What are you saying? Yeah, I'm royalty. I'm, I can't stay in my hands with blood. I, I can't do that. That is never an option. I can't. I can't. Begin. Begin. Mm -hmm. um, please. Can you lend me some money? I will pay you back. Can I offer you? You should be talking about how to pay me back money. You know, talking about borrowing you another one. I'll pay now, I'll just lend another one. I'll bring the two of them at the same time, okay? Promise you that. Okay? Hmm. You better wait first. You know what I'm talking about tomorrow. Igwe, what are you talking about? Is he out of his mind? No, what has come over my son? He even said before on my face that he loves her. What? That is sacrilege. Igwe, we cannot allow this to happen. But are you sure that girl is not using charm on him? No, I don't think so. Have you forgotten that no charm can be potent on any member of the royal family? I think he's just been stupid. In that case, don't bother yourself. Don't lose a day not sleeping well. I will fix it. He will. <laughs> That's why I actually had to let you know this. Um, 
I trust that you will come up with an idea for us to tackle this issue. See where it is any no problem. Don't just worry, I trust you. It is done. I will fix it. No worry. Okay. <laughs> Oh, stop that. I've told you not to do this whenever we want to talk. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Okay, here's the information. I happened to meet with a girl. We spoke at length. But there's something about the girl that I found out that we can actually settle that girl financially. If a huge amount of money is offered to that girl, she will let my brother be. In that case, let us offer her a huge amount of money, an amount she cannot resist. If that girl is well funded, if a huge amount of money is given to that girl, a huge amount of money that will be able to help her take care of the unborn child, if possible, send her abroad, do one or two things to make life more stable for her. I have this feeling that she would let it can be. No, no, no. Sending her abroad is out of it. I don't think we should make her that strong. Because if we do, she might come back against us with the same power that we have given her. Remember, wealth is power. And power is power. I agree with you, but I would also want you to look at it this way. If that girl has been offered a huge amount of money, she would leave Ikem alone. Of course, we all know that if Kim can barely go without that girl, we all know that he can barely function without that girl. But with the girl that I spoke with, can actually do without Ikem if she's financially stable, think about it. I would have asked what is bothering you, but you are the most secretive woman being I have ever come across. But I'm sure you will not answer me. I am the Onu, the traditional prime minister of this land. At that, because the king trusts me. So how do you expect me to tell you everything that bothers me? What business do you have with Oguchi? He comes here often with files. Am I not supposed to know that also? When will you stop asking all these stupid questions? You are supposed to be my wife. I'm nothing but my wife. And I am being your wife the best way I can. This marriage has lasted long enough for me to know the right questions to ask. But you still treat me as if we just met. Let, let me ask you. I hear a man on Azokwa. On Azokwa refusal. I hear a man on Azokwa. I see no Azokwa refusal. Man, I hear you. In our own issue, we have to fight. We have to go. Well, you will never change the name. Oh, 
How we transfer the sum of five million naira into your accounts? Thank you, ma. Your Highness. I have spoken to my agent. He will make sure that your papers are ready. You'll be going to London and you'll stay there to have your baby. Wow! Thank you so much, but thank sorry. you, Your Highness! Enough of your stupid sorry and thank you. I'm not interested in that. I am only doing this because of my son. I don't want to see you anyway, an inch close to my son. I don't want you to even talk to him. Am I understood? That's okay. Don't Your worry. account number. Zero one. Zero one. Six three. Double three. Five. Yes, thank you, Ma. Thank you, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank Mabel, what is going on under my roof? What exactly is happening? It doesn't look like anything is going on here, Mama. Mabel? Yes, Mama. Nothing is happening. Are you stupid? Now, start talking to me. Apart from being pregnant, what else is going on? Who told you I'm pregnant? You think I'm an imbecile? Hmm? Just start talking before I slap your mouth to the back of your head. Fine. 
Yes, I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. Who is asking you if you're pregnant or not? You think I don't know? If you're pregnant, you deliver it. Then I carry my grandchild. If you are bought it, fine. If you die while I bought it, it's better for me. Yes, life goes on. Maybe I have tried everything within my power to train you well. So whatever it is you do with your life, it's not my business. Now, my problem is, there are some scary looking guys that have been moving around this compound. Maybe who are they and what are they looking for? Mama, I'm surprised as you are because I've been seeing, I've seen those, those people recently. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going on, Mama? Yeah, 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 everything is intact now. We have all her information with us now. now. Sure, everything is in fucking intact now. Okay, sir, okay, sir, no problem. Deal, deal. All right. to accompany me to Mabel's house. I want to see, I want to see her mother. Yeah. Because sometimes I wonder how you do. So you still don't want that girl to go, right? You're still talking about that girl. What is there? I just want to go see her mother. I don't want to go there alone. Just for you to go with me. Is anything wrong with it? I see. I'm sorry I cannot go there with you. I don't understand why you find it hard to do things for me. But if it's me, I go out of my way to do things for you. What is there? That's because your way of thinking is different from mine. Yes, your way of reasoning is different from mine. Or God, sometimes you think like dear baby. How? How? Why can't you let that girl go? What is there? I thought you'd be happy for me. I'm, I'm trying to do the right thing. Really? <laughs> Bro, you must be joking. So you think if you go there and after vomiting all this nonsense from your mouth, you expect the mother to fall in love? Yeah? Okay, are you are you okay? Like sometimes I think if you're okay. I should be asking you if you're okay because I don't understand why you're crossing leg. You like you're you're talking to your age mate. What's there? As my friend, I'm just begging my friend, accompany me to... It's just for when I get there, I tell the mom, I got your daughter pregnant, what's the way forward? I'm ready to do what needs to be done. What's there? You're just saying that like I, I said one, one, one abomination. What is there? What is wrong with what I just said? And what is wrong with you going with me? And you think, after saying that, the mother will clap for you, isn't it? It's the way forward I'm looking at. You should support me as a friend. Okay, oh and I said I cannot go there. Yeah, it's okay, you said it now. I'm talking nonsense. I'm doing this one. Good day. How dare you throw greetings at me like you're throwing bones to a dog? Are you mad? Who offended you? Why you behave this way? I want to know what Mabel has done to deserve that restlessness from you guys. If there's anyone you should bother, that should be me and not her. What is going on? How dare you come to my palace to query me? 
Come, if not that you are my son, I will make sure you lose an arm for this non-challenge. Please, calm down. Calm down. He came. You are the most stupid, senseless, worthless person I've ever seen. How dare you? Huh? It's quite unfortunate that you are my son. And most unfortunate that you are the heir to the throne. Is that how you are going to leave my people when I leave them to you? Don't make me regret that you, you, you're my first son. I can't control your feeling or perceptions about me. But I want you to leave Mabel alone. Cut her some slack. Let her be. Now leave my presence. Leave her alone. I said leave my presence! Let her be. Let's Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Can't you say I'm dwindling? This is not my old self. This boy wants to ruin me. That's the problem with him. And I think with time, he will know his faults and right his wrong. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Hmm? Anna. What is the problem? Is everything okay? This one you just dozed off in the middle of the day. I just got your revelation. About what? Is everything okay? Everything is okay, but there might be a problem if I don't speak with Unobu right now. Please get to me for me. In that case, let me send one of the guys to fetch your Unobu for you. Right. Tell DK to fetch the Unobu right away. Yes, Your Highness. Let him come with the Unobu immediately. Yes, Your Highness. Let's go, man. Bro, bro, please. Hey, hello. Shh. Please, 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 please. I said, don't please, talk. Please, 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 I just got a deep revelation, No. What are you working on right now? 
not working on anything right now. You go, uh, it's just that uh, the, the planting season is. Uh, I'm not talking about a planting thing. I'm talking about what pertains to blood. Oh, oh, oh. Igwe, okay. oh. <laughs> you know, after what you told me last time, I, I thought it. I thought it wise to eliminate that girl. Because I believe if the girl is no more, the girl will no more have problem. I bought that mission right away. I bought? Igwe. The gods revealed to me that it is going to be a big stain. Igwe, they are already on it though. I can't do anything. I can't abort it now. Call them and tell them to stop. Tell them Igwe says so. Igwe. <laughs> my food. Call them right away. Where has brought my food? Call them. Please, please don't kill me. Please. You say what? Please, please, I beg you. We don't want to hear your voice. If you chant more, we're going to answer you. Hello, boss. Yes, we found the killer. Uh, is she down already? Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. I bought the mission. What? I bought the mission. Yes, yes, no problem. Oh, you are money. Don't worry, I will pay you in full. Just I bought the mission. Yes, untie her, let her go, let her go. No problem, sir, no problem. It's okay. All right, sir. Okay, okay. See me in the house. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sir. <clears throat> No, we have not killed her. They were just about to kill her. My call just came on time. Always let me know when things like this comes up. You know I'm doing it for the throne. I know you're doing it for the love you have for me and for the throne. But when it comes to bloodletting, make sure I'm aware. I've had you, my king. It will never happen again. I've had you. Please, please, please. Stay. please. No, what I'm chanting please. about? More, uh, the matter don't cast, nigga. I'll be so I will cast like that now. Hello? You didn't hear me? Please. Okay, we're going to free you now. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So we're giving you 30 seconds to move up from here. Thank you, sir. See, let me tell you. Once you get up from here, let me not see you on the way. If, if I see you, eh? See if I set there. my eyes on you outside there, you anything where you see, take her. Hey, bro. I mind you, if you're balling, don't look back. If you look back, we pay you, yeah, you know? Peace. Your time starts now. Blood blood. Hey! Stay, Stay with me. Give me the bag, give me the bag. <laughs> Banish right about now. Blood blood. I'll, I'll go kidnap you. I'll tell you things. You know, I'm not going there. Let's see what in there now. Yeah. Check out my one dead. Yeah. What in there again? 50 50. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, no, what you're saying. Yeah. What happened? Uh, Talk to me. What happened? God. What, what happened? God. From God what? saved me. Saved you from where? Uh, from who? 
Jesus. Mm. Babe, mm. talk to me now. Mm. God, easy, easy, easy. Mm. What happened? I want eh? water. Water? Mm. Hey. Madam! What has she done to you? What are you talking about? What she mean? What am I talking about? She just not only escaped from the den of kidnappers, she came out senseless like that. How? What are you? Can you calm down? Why would I want her dead? You can listen to me. If you had given her money to abort that pregnancy, all this wouldn't have been happening. You can listen to me. If anything should happen to that guy, you can. If anything should happen to that guy, you can. Listen to me. Shut up. If you should happen to that girl, I will testify against you in the court of law. I can, and I mean it. And you was going for that. Useless at all. Useless to ah. I'm coming. Don't break the gate. Huh? Who is knocking for my girl like saying you this road? Huh? Don't you know that you are the royal one? Please, I want to see. Hey, 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 Madam, wait, 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 wait. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. Madam. By the way, who are you looking for? Please, I want to see the Igwe. And I want to see him now. Madam, you will not see him. Do you have appointment with him? No, but I have to see the Igwe now. It is very important. I have to see him now. Madam, you can't see him except you have any important appointment with him. Eh? Hey. Yes. In that case, you people will kill me before I leave this place or because I must see the Igwe. Igwe, come out! Hey, hey, hey. wait, Igwe! Madam. Igwe. madam, wait. Here is not a slaughter place where you can come and kill yourself. Wait, let me go and call Igwe. I don't want to get them from your mother again. Better call the Igwe, better call him. I tell you to shut up. Igwe, better come out now. It's actually uh, not the way uh, the people see it. But with time, they'll come to understand that it's actually for their favor. You are doing the right thing. Igwe! There is a woman outside the gate with her daughter. She said that if you did not allow her to see you, she would die. I will not allow such woman in here. Go hold her down. I'll be right behind you. Yes, Your Highness. Who could be that? Yes, let's go attend to her. Is this your mother? Yes, Your Highness. Yes, I'm her mother. Igwe, your son got her pregnant. And I was told you are aware of that. But that is not exactly why I'm here. If your son doesn't want to marry her, it's fine. It's okay by me. I have what it takes to take care of my daughter and any number of children she decides to have outside wedlock. But why come after her life? After her. Then whoever is after her life should let her be. My daughter has been at peace until your son got her pregnant. I was told she asked for money for abortion, but he refused. 
Woman, are you certain my son is the one after your daughter's life? Ma, I know children can be trusted. But in this particular issue, I know that whoever is after my daughter's life is doing that because of the child in her womb. Please, tell whoever it is that wants my daughter to let her be. Please, I am begging. She's all I have. Woman, I assure you, no harm will come to her. Igwe, I have reported this matter to the police. If anything happens to my daughter, I will take legal action against your son. I just thought you should know. Please, tell your son to leave my daughter alone. I beg you. Woman, choose your words well. You are not sure of who is after your daughter, not my son. My dad. Madam, you cannot leave. Why me? 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 My mind is polluted. The order of its content might be unbearable. My son, speak up now. For not speaking puts more threat to this community. It, can, it is better we perceive this thinking or done now and no, find a way around it before it gets out of hand. I'm expecting a child. How dare you say that before us? I thought that has been settled. The only thing settled is that my child is still in the mother's womb. And my child will not be fatherless while I'm still alive. Okay. I called you that name because I thought you were going to be my strength and my power when I grow feeble. Are you saying that I should bear my chest? Are you going to have first my heart in the very presence of, of, of the elders of this community? For I'm not your only child. My dream is to sit on the throne of my fathers one day. I think I want to be a father more than I want to be a king. If that is your stance, then you cease to be my son. That's fine. If that's the price I will pay for being a father, then let it be. You can. You can. Ken, will you come back here? Ikem! He I'm not done with you! Ikem! He Ikem! He land of a photo hear me and let the bears of the sky stop to fly and let the gods of my ancestors hear the anguish in my voice since you have allowed me to train you in vain so shall you toil in vain I hereby strip you of everything and the benefits of the crown prince of this good land. You shall no longer have access to your bank account. You shall no longer have access 
to the properties that belong to the royal home. And everything under your possession, you have lost. Guards! Guard! Step forward. He is no longer the crown prince of this great land. Take that off him. And that khaki with him belongs to the royal home. Take it from him. Now, send him out of my palace. Igwe, please. Stop it! Tamper justice with mercy. Send him away. Son. Guards. You can help him. Help him! Igwe, what's the deal? He came. It's alright. It's alright. Your Highness. You have made me cry. You shall toil and toil in vain. Igwe. Hello. Hello. Hey, where are you going? Ah. Is it now you are coming for the meeting? Hey, we're here for the meeting. Uh, is there a time? I don't have time. We just came. <laughs> What's the time? It is alright. The meeting is over. Eh? Hello. Uh -uh. Why so fast? Why? What is the problem? The no, prince. What's now? The prince chose a strange woman over the throne. Uh -huh. yeah. No. Ah, 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 ah. no. Did I hear you clear? There's a problem there. A very big problem. <laughs> hey! So that is his decision. At last. Uno talked to us. And the king disowned the prince. Hey. Uh, Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, Hello. Ah. <laughs> ah, what do we do now? Hey. Huh? Hello. There's nothing we can do. Can we go in and see the king? It's your choice. Eh? My choice. But I'm going. You are going? Mm -hmm. <laughs> then I'll go with you now. Let's go with you, no woman. Okay. No, no. Ah, give me a minute. The king had allowed me to eliminate that girl. Mm. All this rubbish wouldn't have happened. Let's see. Mm. <laughs> oh no. Hi. What, what did you just say now? So, if we allow you, you shed an innocent blood because of no issue? Mm. Ha! Oh no. Mm. What sort no. of man are you? Who do be with the Oh no. So, you love it that the crown prince has been dethroned ah. because of that stupid girl. Okay. Oh, oh, well, let me just make it clear here. Yeah. Maybe Ikem was not destined to be a king in his lifetime. Hey. Hey. It's now I know hey. you are very, very wicked. Uh -huh. You are a wicked man. Yes. You don't deserve to be in the king's cabinet. Hey, bah. hey, hey. <laughs> it doesn't go into no, 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 that no, 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 no. What are you saying? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Let me make it clear to you. If there is anyone that not deserve to be in, in, in cabinet, of the king is you. Mm. Eh? Mm. It's you! How dare you talk to our, our, our traditional prime minister like that? How dare you? Don't you hear him? Come on, come Don't on. you hear what he told me now? Mm. Is is he? He? Ah. If you talk to me like that again, uh -huh. I will turn you to toilet paper. Oh, no, I will try. Ah. See, I cannot be moved by all this you are fake and cheap charm now. You know, you know now. Is that how strong you have become? You have seen. Mm. Yes. He who has not gone asks to be contacted when others are going. Mm -hmm. I will drum the dance of Srugede for you. 
I have this for you guys. I hear that the crown prince chose a woman over the throne. I heard it all. That's the height of disrespect. What does she even have that will make the prince decide to lose his throne instead? Hmm? Huh? I am not judging him, but I think it could have been right for him to pick a wife from this village. Someone like me. I mean, am I not beautiful enough to be the next lola of this community? Ah, go to Maya now. <laughs> You're just too funny. Eh? Wait, though. Are you sure she's not the one the Grand Prince saw and swore he'd rather lose the throne as get my to a girl from this land? She's the one that. What are you insinuating? I'm not trying to insult you, my friend, but I think when we're talking about beauty, she just keep quiet. <laughs> are you sure she's not having malaria and typhoid? Is she I okay? don't blame the two of you. <laughs> Come back, where are you going to? <laughs> Honestly, Miguel, I won't support him to reject the throne just to be with you. Look, just forget about this boy and move on. Mama, now I believe that he loves me so much. And trust me, I won't find anyone who will love me this way. Listen. I do not want you to talk about that boy in this house again. How, Mama? I just got a message that he rejected the throne because of me. What? Yes. Is he mad? How can I reject his throne just to be with you? Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me ask you. Mm. No, no, just stop deceiving yourself. Huh? Let me ask you, who are you? Eh? <laughs> Who are you that he will reject the throne for? <coughs> now I see that the prophet is not known in his town. Mm. So even you, Mama, you don't believe, you don't believe that I am that important, right? Mm. You don't even believe it. But you believe that I can give birth to a child whose father will be king, but he will not be a prince. You also... Believe that I should not abort the child. But you don't think I deserve the father of the child. Uh, please. <clears throat> don't put words into my mouth. But how can you be advising him to leave the <clears throat> throne? Just because you want him to be your husband. Ah, that's no good at all. Mama, this is simple now. If he can't have me and have the throne, and he goes ahead to choose me over the throne, then I'll gladly marry him. Yes, I'll make him king over me. He might not be ruling his people, hmm. but I'll submit the entirety of my being to him. I'll let him rule over me, yes. And I will love him, shower him with love, pamper him, ah, oh. ah, oh. ah. Oh. I'll just keep loving and loving and loving him. Hello. Mm. Mabel. Mama. <laughs> Mabel. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. Mama, what am I doing? I'm seated here with you. He's the one who chose to reject the throne and be with me instead. So why should I refuse a gift horse in the mouth? Please, Mama. Ah.
My king. We've been married for more than three decades. I've never seen a tear drop from your eyes. I should have released that sperm into Wangene River. At least the fishes would have been nourished by it. I regret that night it was conceived. My king, I think you should focus more on the things you have than to focus on the ones you lost. Maybe he was not destined to be a king. In our lineage that the second son will be crowned king while the crown prince is still alive. It's not a bad history at all. Instead of him to sit on the throne and commit atrocities. It's better he quits now. I will never stop to mourn him. The strength of my youth is gone. All the effort I put over the years, thinking I was raising the crown prince, has become a fluke. He's all wasted. My king, it bleeds my heart to see tears on your eyes. Please, stop. Thank the gods. He is not our only son. We have another song. It is better we prepare his own now. Let him be the king. I am pain. I am pain. <sighs> My king, stop this. Father, you mourn like one whose sheep has capsized. Simply because someone said that they can't be king after you. And that alone is making me to wonder. Am I really your son? It's so now. And it's so unfair to say. You are my son. It's just that uh, the shock is too much to bear. Is that why you have decided to kill yourself, my father? You want to take your own life because of it? You're already taking a lead way to to the path of departure. I mean, just look at it for 
For some days now, you've not slept. You haven't eaten. Father, you've not even had your part. I mean, how do I say this outside? That the king hasn't bitted for days. Father, please. If you die before I get to know what kingship is all about, who would you blame, Father? Who? So now you're getting it all wrong. It, it, it's all right, it's all right. Um, tomorrow, I'll start to teach you all that you need to know as a king to be. But do not disappoint me. I will not disappoint you, my father. I will not. But please, can, can you at least eat something now? I mean, I can, I, can, I can even go to the kitchen to put something up for you if that's what you want. But I just want you to eat something. I just want you to make you understand that I love you equally. Get anything from me, I will eat. Thank you. You will sit here someday when I'm gone. Kings don't cry. So pull yourself together and get ready to be. You know, I think there's need for us to start all over again since we have lost. Uh, he came to a stranger. And so it's about time we started teaching Izuna the history of this great kingdom. Your Highness, it's longer than expecting this call. We can't continue crying over spilled milk. You know what you are right. Lolo. Your Majesty. We we'll need your assistance here. I want you to teach your son all he needs to know about a woman. I'm not talking about a woman in this kingdom. If he's going to pick a wife from this kingdom, then he should know the kind of woman that they are. I can trust you on that. Your Majesty, you know you can trust me on that. I'll do right that. Um, when we talk about the history of this kingdom, the myth, the legends, and all those great heroes we had in the past. No, I trust that you will deliver on that. I will need you to please put him through so that at the end of the day, you beat your chest and say, yes, I tutored him. <laughs> Igwe, you know, I'm everly ready to teach him. In fact, I don't have a choice. It all depends on how much she can learn. If not, I'm ready. Um, well, I have always told you that my son is intelligent and is ready to learn. You'll be surprised how much you want to know. <laughs> so, so. Yes, we don't have any problem. Hello. <laughs> the palace is an embodiment of our custom and tradition. And it's the duty of the palace to make sure that custom and tradition remains the best respect.
made from the first person. Yes. 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 He displays our prowess in the home team. Is this a root of root of root of root of root This is what about it? Yes, I'm talking about this. Well, this is only my friend. And this is another work of the first company. And this is the stuff. As long as I hold this, no man. No man can So, what happens when you probably misplace it or something? What happens? If it's misplaced, then there must be something behind it. It can never be misplaced because wherever I go, it goes with me. Yes. Okay.
I can see that you are still nursing the pain in your heart. No. Losing a child is more subtle than having a child that will refuse to scratch your back. I feel I've lost a part of me. But all hope is not lost. That should be your joy. Oh no. If you don't understand. I feel so empty. I feel I... I feel I did teach him all that he needed to know. Igwe, don't blame yourself for a man who refused to be the king. He was not under any supernatural influence. What he did was his personal decision. You need to hear. Because the good news is that Izuna is learning fast. He is brave and intelligent. In fact, I see a better can get him. No, please make him learn fast. Please make him learn fast. Because that will trigger the much needed peace of mind that I really want. He will. Izuna is almost ready. You need to heal as fast as possible so that your health will not be affected. Mom, from the way you sounded, it's obvious that our people have a very rich cultural heritage. And from all indications, the way we came to be, I'm so proud to be from this kingdom. Not only being proud to be part of this kingdom, but you are part of our history. Because you are the future king of this kingdom. Believe me, what happened to Ikim was part of our negligence. But I intend to correct that where you are, and I want you to follow suit. How do you want to make that happen? I want you to get a wife. Yes. Do you have someone already that you want to get married to or you have to let me know the type of woman you want. And believe me, I'll get her for you from this kingdom. <laughs> it's not funny. Well, you just told me you're joking right now. I mean, why would you be expecting me to get married anytime soon? I'm too young to settle down, mom. Why would you be saying this? <laughs> oh, please, mom, please. Just stop it, please. <laughs> oh, stop it, Izuna. You are not too young to get married. Yeah, now I see the reason our ancestors used to get wise for their children when they were still kids and nurture them together to grow as siblings. Then at the right time, they will make them to understand that they are not siblings, but husband and wife. Subsequently, they practice scrapped off as generations goes by. But it continues with the royal family until this tradition and culture of the king getting a wife, the first wife from the community words off. You see it. Had it been we found a wife for Ikim when he was younger, all this wouldn't have happened. So it's our mistake. Now tell me, do you have someone in mind you want to marry? Or do I get one for you? Mom. If someone had told me I was going to be talking about marriage right now, well, how am I supposed to believe that person? And plus, I, I don't want to become king. I've never wanted to be king. 
and suddenly everyone is seeing me as the next king of the kingdom. Well, if that's what the gods want, fine. Hence, they will not take this away from me because this is very important to me. And concerning the question, do you have anyone in mind for me? You should tell me whether you have someone. If not, I'll get a wife for you from this kingdom. Well, um... Mom, you're holding me down in a tight corner, man. I don't like this. Okay, fine. I have a friend, just a friend that I've been, you know, keeping me company somehow. Is she from this kingdom? No, she's just a friend. Is she from this kingdom? Okay, when am I seeing her? Mom. Whenever you want to see her, you let me know. I can't do it. No, please. I can't go get on the throne without this. Why is he staring at us like that? Like a fool. Hi, 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 sorry, excuse me. Can I talk with you? Yes, you can. Uh, why didn't you pass me like your friends did? Why didn't you to greet me? What more can they be to me? You know, we don't dictate for ourselves. It is not safe to go to the stream alone. That is why they are always around. Oh, I see. And they are... Oh, they are completely gone. They never thought it wise to wait for you or something. Yeah, they already told me from home that if I stop to greet anyone, they will not wait for me. I'm used to them leaving me behind. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, that means you, you, you're in the habit of greeting people when you see them. I greet people a lot. Oh, that's so kind of you. Thank you. Um, I think at this point, it's imperative I let you know who I am. My name is Izuna Ekechima Nebe. Izuna Ekechima Nebe. Are you from this community? Yes, I am. Ekechima. That name belongs to the royal home. Yes. I am actually a prince of this land. Hey. Long may you reign, my prince. It's okay. Hey, 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 can you look up? Stop it. Pardon me if I've not been respectful enough. It's okay. Your humility goes beyond expectation. From my few observations about you, you've you're a very busy person. You're always occupied. How about we making our time to talk maybe later? I mean, if you were able to make our time, I'll create that time too for you. My prince, I have a lot of errands to run today. I don't know if you can give me your number. I'll call you later to tell you when I will be free. Shh, that's okay. May I please get your number? It's all pleasure, my prince. Here. Okay, um, sorry, my bad, I didn't... Get to ask you your name from the beginning. What's your name? Ginika. Ginika, okay, sorry. I'm sorry about that. No problem. Okay, no problems. Um, I'll call you all. All right? Thank you. Okay.
it now, please. <laughs> Ngozi, could you guys believe that that guy is the crown prince of this land? <laughs> you started again, oh. Ginika, you started again. I told you. I knew that guy was up to something. Thank God he did not tell you that he's the king himself. <laughs> I know that you people will not believe me. <laughs> that guy really took our time to brainwash you. Hey. He did not brainwash me. He was so sincere. Ginika. <laughs> hey. You know, at times I wonder how you managed to be my friend. Eh? You act so dark, yet you claim to be wise. What is wrong with you? He told me that his name is Izuna Ekechima Nebe. And you know that that name belongs to the royal home. If you don't want to believe me, you leave it now. Abe, Nika, she might be right though. Ekechima, Ekechima. That name sounds familiar. Nika, are you sure she's not right? Eh? Because you wait a minute. Could it be that the crown prince is falling for Genika while we are here? Is she more beautiful than we are? Eh? I doubt. This is the main reason why I will not believe that guy is the king. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. You mean you will be made king instead of your brother? It's obvious. But that's no that's not nice. Well, that's what everyone says. The royal home has done as much as we could, but he refused. Wow. I am honored to be in the presence of the crown prince of this land. I'll be more honored if you accept to be the future queen of this kingdom while I sit on my father's throne. What? I didn't hear that. You heard me. My prince. I am not worthy to be a queen. I am not educated enough. I am not even beautiful. I am also not from a rich home. I mean, I am... I am not... Please, get up. Get up. Listen to me. Listen. Everything you lack will be provided for you at the palace. Is the education? Is the finance? Whatever that it will take to make you a good queen, the royal home will make that available. All I just want from you is just to be by my side as my queen, whereas I sit on the throne of my fathers. I've taken my time to study you as a human. I know you have wisdom. You're well behaved. You've got good character, great virtues as a woman. Believe me when I say every other thing that you lack will be taken care of. Listen, from your education, finance, and even your beauty. If you're not confident enough with the way you look, I mean, the royal home might as well go ahead and provide you with other aesthetics that would make you more beautiful. Just be my queen, and I promise you I will give you everything no man has given you. My name is Ginika. The daughter of late Mr. Anthony Ogalago. Anthony Ogalago. That was a good man. Yes. I'm from Udiago. Yes, yes. Oh. I'm from Udiago. <laughs> what a small word. <laughs> that man was an upright man. Wow. He was so upright that he was killed because of his truthfulness. What? Yes. That's what my grandma told me. Shit. He was murdered for saying the truth. That's true. That inspires me to be more truthful now. Because I realize that truthfulness is the weapon people dread so much now. You're right. Hmm. 
I'm quite okay. impressed. Hmm? I'm impressed to have you here. Thank you, my queen. Isn't that? Your ability to find such a wife kill shows how much you deserve to be the future king of the kingdom. Um, you can go back home and announce to your people that you have found favor in the sight of the crown prince of this kingdom. You were... Thank you, Your Highness. You have spoken my mind. You have spoken my mind indeed. Come. Come, my girl. Come and sit with me. Yes. The baby needs you. Come and stay. Sis. Thank you, my queen. I cannot wait to have you as my daughter-in-law. And I promise you that in due time, I will be glad to hand over my royal authority over to you. Thank you, my queen. Now. And you could not even tell us you are getting married. You have to hear it from somewhere else. If I had told you guys, you would not believe. I mean, the other day I told you about him being the prince, but you didn't believe. Is that why you stopped telling us about him? It's unfair. Ginika, we're your friends now. Tell her. Eh? Tell her. I'm sorry. I just wanted the date to be fixed before telling you guys. But I heard it's this weekend. Yes, but we are oh, still... Oh, wait. Oh, so you really don't want to tell us about this, right? You really do not want to tell us about this. No problem. No problem. But from today henceforth, we're no longer your friends. Nigga, come, let's go, please. Ngozi! Nigga, come, let's go. Nigga, you should not do this now. I'll leave you. Come, let's go. Ngozi! Please wait now. Nigga, please now.
cha 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 okoto kwenu eh 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 okoto Eke Uri Aho Nkwa Today I crown you Gigwe Nkasato Nokoto Kingdom like me. Thank you. And thank you for making me proud. <laughs> <laughs> and there goes my beloved queen. The beautiful queen. The beautiful oh queen. So <laughs> <laughs> The beautiful love. So <laughs> My love, there's this thing that has been bothering me, and I hope it doesn't infuriate you. What is it? I've always told you, if you have anything to say to me, feel free, knowing very well that I will barely get angry at you. It's about your brother. I think it's time we at least ask about him and know how he is doing. I would appreciate it if you don't mention my brother Rama hearing again. I have other things that are bothering me, not Ikem. You are the king now. The act of forgiveness is something you should master. Ikem is your blood brother. You can't be angry with him forever. No matter how high the bed flies, no matter the distance it covers, in the sky, if it decides to perch on the ant hill, it is still on the ground. Have you forgotten that my father disowned him? That is what you keep saying. 
If your father was still alive, I believe by now he would have forgiven him. Please, like I mentioned earlier, I have things that are really disturbing my peace about this kingdom. I have things bugging my mind, not Ikim. Well, I will leave you for now, but we are not done talking about this. I am not saying you should bring him back to the palace. What I am saying is, ask about him and know how he is doing. He might be going through a lot and need somebody to help him. What more can you do for a brother? I do not want to talk about Ikim again. Ikim made his choice. Are you okay? That you are hungry. Hungry? Yes. Your mom did not prepare anything for you people. Yes, I did. She said when you come back, you will buy food for us. Where are you dressing to? I'm going to see a friend. You're going to see a friend? Why didn't you prepare something for the kids to eat? As what exactly? Am I your maid? What do you mean, I, 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 are you my maid? No, 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 I don't understand it. I just knew it. I knew that if you see me dressed like this and looking happy, it would turn sour for you because you're an enemy of progress, obviously. I don't get it. What is this? I don't understand what you're saying. Is there something you're not telling me? I... Because these days, the way you dress is, is, is just, it's just making me confused. I am going to see a friend. Full stop. So are you not supposed to make something for your kids to eat? Which what exactly? Of course there are food items here you can you Can, can you bring them out? Let's see. What food items? Tell me. As a married man, before leaving this house in the morning, are you not supposed to drop money for your family to feed? No, 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 no. Or did you keep a tree inside that manufactures money that will just vomit money and I will use to feed them? Oh, you think it's by having children? You need money to take care of children. Please. Uh -uh. What's this now? I don't need anything to spoil my mood. I'm in a very happy mood. I don't want anything spoiling it. So please. Huh. I knew this fault already. You know what? You can keep this inside. I need to go. What am I showing you? Oh, this kid is. Oh God. Why me? Why me? Oh, why me? Are you serious about it? Huh? My king. Though the Wangale River still belong to us. But from water down to the river, now it belongs to Omona people. I thought Chineke May. I thought those lands belong to our community. And no individual of this kingdom has the power to sell or give out any land without the consent of the royal home. As a matter of fact, as the tradition permits, it is only the royal home that has the strength, the ability, the authority to sell or give any land out to any individual. And if that must be done, it has to be according to the interests of the entire community. My king, that's not even all. Oh. <laughs> As I'm speaking with you now, the land from uh, Okoreko down to market now belongs to Ndeawa. Yes. The only place those people did not sell is the market area because they know they cannot sell it. Can you, can you take me there? 
I want to see things myself. If I can believe what you're saying. Yes, my king. I will do that. Hey. Hey. Ah. Enemies of the throne. Destroyers of the kingdoms. Men who are set for the well-being of the kingdom. They are the ones walking against the kingdom. Committing atrocities in the kingdom. Men in the land, oh, enemies of the kingdom. They are so evil men in the land, oh, enemies of the kingdom. They are so, but no matter what happens, the girls are watching. There's always a payback for every wickedness. Oh, by evil men triumph, but only for a while. Then justice arise and take it cause yeah. Evil men in the land, oh, oh. enemies of the kingdom, they are. So evil men in the land, oh, oh. enemies of the kingdom. of the throne, destroyers of the kingdoms, men who are set for the well-being of the kingdom. I told you I was going out to see a friend. You didn't tell me the friend you were going to see. You need to understand something. These days you just leave the house anytime you want, come back anytime you wish, wear clothes that I never bought for you. What is really going on? You don't care about your family no more. Is this the kind of life you want for yourself? Wow. It's been a really exhausting day. I'm actually came back to relax my head. But it's obvious that there's no peace here. And what am I doing back here if there's no peace here? It's better that maybe I just go back to where I'm coming from. Hmm. Fine, it's better you go back to where you're coming from. If you think you're not, what I'm saying is not right, you feel to go back to where you're coming from. Okay. See you tomorrow. Wait, <laughs> are you really going out? for the files, for the landed documents my father gave the chiefs. Can I see them? Everything you need is here. 
But I know that some are in my room. Some files are in my room. If you want them, I can still bring it. Please, I need to see them. It's okay. I'll do that, but there is something I want us to discuss about. Now, Mom, what is it? What is it? What is it this time? Um, what do you mind sitting down? Let's talk about it. Mom, I, I am not in the mood to sit. Can I see the documents, please? Or better so you want me to go to your room to get them myself. You just told me where to find them. I want us to talk about your brother. I know my wife got you to talk about this. Because I know her too well that she'll never stop doing anything she wants to get done except when she achieves that. Can you please get rid of that? You know how much I detest the smell. Get rid of this. Yes, my king. Your wife is telling you the truth. I didn't want to talk about him all these years because I wanted to respect your father's decision even till death. But since your wife has brought up the issue, I think we should forget about it and bring him back. Oh. I am sorry. I do not want to talk about Ikem. I have a lot of things going on in my head right now. I have lots of workloads to do. Please, can I see the documents? No problem. You have to think about it. Let me get the file for you. Your Highness, Omega Man, you know the planting season is fast approaching. I would want you to give me some portions of land from the community land for me to farm on. Oh no. What happens to the lands that my father gave you? Oh. <laughs> The little portion of land your father gave me is no longer enough for me. You know, God blessed me with uh, good farm produce over the years. So I need more land. I have decided that under my reign that I will stop the giving of portions of land belonging to the community to any individual. Except that land is going to be used for communal purposes. Your Highness, I am not telling you to give me the land. I will relinquish it when I am done farming or when the community needs it. Have you returned the ones my father gave you? How can I return it when I need more? Your Highness, don't refuse me this request. Well, like I said earlier, that I've decided that under my reign, I will not release any land to any individual anymore, except for communal purposes. Go home and make do with the one you have and wait for what is coming. Enemies of the throne, destroyers of the kingdom, men who are set for the well-being of the kingdom. 
They are the ones walking against the kingdom. You are back. Who offended you? Why is your face like this? Could you believe that the king refused me some portions of land I want to farm on? After everything I have done for you. Maybe because he has discovered that you have not been farming on that land. Brother, you've been selling them. Are you mad? Hmm. Ned, hmm? where is that one coming from? I am eh? your wife. And the king has been giving us some portions of land to farm. And for one day, we have not gone to that farm to plant even ordinary corn. Rather, I see people coming here for you to send land documents for them. So you don't believe me when I told you I am a land agent? I believe you. I believe you. I just pray that the king will not wake up one day and demand for the lands to be returned because of that very disastrous. Mm. I can see that you are talking too much. You sent three of our children abroad. Don't you think I should be daft to be in this house and not know where the money is coming from? Hmm? Ned, let me not hear this rubbish outside this place. Did you understand? <laughs> hey, and let me remind you. My problem with you is that you still don't see me as your wife. That is why you do all these things without informing me about it. I wouldn't have allowed you to do some of it. More reason I won't tell you. Women has a way of pulling men back. And whenever I'm moving, I don't want any negative thought. Women have a way of pulling men out from doing wrong. And as it is, you have comfortably and successfully entered this one. And I pray you have the power to come out of it because I have nothing to say. As usual, Naya Kamala because you never told me. Okay, Naya, only Kota, will this be? Madam, I'm going to listen. I'm not set here. Oh, my GC. My son, I would not like you to deny or know anything in this palace, especially portions of land. He has done a lot for our community. Afomoleze. My mom. What if I tell you that Onowu is not the man that you think he is? My son. Your father trusted Onowu so much. I would like you to do so. He is a truthful man. Honesty is a virtue. And it is often said that he that much is given to, much is expected. Would you believe if I told you that Onowu has been selling the portions of lands that were given to him by my late father? I don't think that's true. Don't let people deceive you. What if I tell you that I've done my investigation? What if I tell you that Ono has been selling the land that belongs to the community to outsiders? Well, I can't lie sitting on this throne, the throne of my fathers, for this throne represents justice, equity, and fairness. I have made my inquiries. All I am waiting for is just to get a handhold on the documents. 
Anytime soon, I will be inviting all the elders to the royal palace to come and give account on how they have been using the lands that were given to them in the past. I'm very proud of you, my son. You raised me well. All I have to say is for you to be careful with those people. Be careful, please. They are important to me. I know. Nothing will happen to me. I guess we can do. Why are you treating me like this? Is there something you're not telling me? We've been living together happily. I need to understand what changed. I'm tired of suffering. That's what's changed. You keep telling me everything will get better. Yet, things keep getting worse. We've been living in this place for several years. Even have two kids. Still, we haven't upgraded. Hey, but you know it's not my fault. I know. I'm doing my best. It's my fault. It's not yours, it's mine. No, I didn't say it's your fault. I'm only saying that we, we can work together. We can pray together. A family that prays together wins together. Together we can achieve greater things. I know you've sacrificed a lot for this relationship. I have to. In fact, so much more. But, I think it's time we start readjusting ourselves. I don't understand. Well, someday, you get to understand all of it. But right now, you should know that having kids shouldn't be tops on a man's priority when he doesn't have money to take care of them. Why me? Oh, why me? 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 I would like to see the paper documents for every portion of land that my late father gave each and every one of you. Your Highness. He didn't give us any paper. Yes. Hey! Anemi. Macharanya. No, no, you lie. Uh, uh, can't you say, can't you just say things the way it is for once? Eh? I remember our late king gave all of us a document to sign. And we signed. Ah, no. So, you mean that my late father didn't give you any documents to sign? before allocating portions of lands to you. That means my father got off someday and asked you to go and take as many portions of lands that you like. Yeah, he just sent someone uh, to measure and uh, cut some portions of land for us. Uh, though uh, he gave us a small paper, you know, uh, yeah. but it wasn't the official court document. Mm. Eh? It small was paper. a small paper. Small paper. Ah. So, he gave you small paper? Yes. Oh. You see that small paper? I want to see them. What for? Hey, I was about asking you. What for? Do I have the right to see those papers? Well, I think. 
think you have the right to see the paper. But uh, I, I, I don't know. Okay. A few seven days. Seven days to provide me with those papers. Bam! This meeting is over. I said this meeting is over. Inwe. This man, this thing the king is doing, I don't think it is necessary. Instead of giving us more portions of land, he is asking us to return the ones his father gave us. Ah, it's not proper. But Onu, is there anything bad there? Ah. He's the king and has every right to ask us to return the land his late father gave to us. Or do we buy the land? Who are you it's asking? Your name. I don't like how you interpret matters. Ah. Eh? Have we done farming on the land? No. I even need more in this upcoming season. Me too. Are you suggesting we disobey the king? I wonder. There is nothing to wonder. Uh -huh. There is nothing to wonder here. Let's just tell him in one voice that he should give us more portions of land instead of asking us to return the one the father gave us. Mm -hmm. And I, I support the motion. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. That's how you'll be shaking your head like a gamma lizard. Eh? Mm -hmm. See, if we're not careful, we will struggle so much this planting season oh. if we have to return those portions of land. Uh, you know what we go through? But I think we should obey before we complain. Ah, let's just submit the documents first. Then we'll tell them what we want. We will not do anything like that. Hmm? That boy doesn't have to put us in such a tight corner. Ah, oh no, is he, ensla is he enslaving us? Oh no, 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 no. Speak for yourself. Uh -uh. Oh no, speak for yourself. Can't me out of this discussion. I'm not part of it at all. Jan you are very stupid. Yes. Are you sure you are not the one that triggered him into this action? He's the one. Eh? Oh no, me, very stupid. Of course. Oh no, you are the biggest fool here now. Hmm? Hey, make sure. The you. one I'm seeing you now. <laughs> you are talking to me. Yes. Stop, no, no. Stop crying. Stop crying yet. Whatever it is, you people have swallowed. Uh, it's time for people to vomit. Or you have vomit here. Yes! I come out of the rock where I come out of the rock where you vomit your intestine. Uh, yes. All of, all Everything all of. in your stomach, you are yes. going to vomit it. Oh no, return the land. Go, go, return go, go, the land. Return the land. land. Slap you from the back. Return the land. Rock where? I have these strong feelings that he's going through a lot right now. I think we need to send people to find him. That was exactly the reason I wanted to see you. I've already sent someone to look for him. Wow. Thank you, my queen. I know that my husband will never want to find him. I just want to know where he came is and what he is going through. The late king took everything from him and sent him away. I wonder if he has gotten back on his feet by now. Mother, you shouldn't have left him all these years. He still has royal blood running through his veins. He deserves to be helped. My daughter, we all make mistakes and we learn from it. 
Was it that the one I'm or the one I'm Please, sit. I want us to talk. It's not why I'm here. I need to give them this. Please, I won't take your time. Just sit. Please. Okay. Fast. But where are they? Um, do you remember Alex? If I remember Alex, what kind of question is that? If I remember someone that duped me, someone that forgot about me, you're asking me of that of that st stupid lunatic. If I remember him, was it just talk a bit? Talk the same important thing. I want to tell you a story. Tell me a story. What? Oh come on, babe. How can you say you're pregnant now? What is going on? You know I don't have penny. I don't have a dime with me. You've been the one feeding me for the past two weeks and you're telling me you're pregnant. What do you want me to do? Can you talk a man now? Excuse you? Why exactly are you blaming me? No, 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 I don't understand. Was I the one who got myself pregnant? Did I do it myself? Why are you blaming me? Oh, I, I know I did it. I did it, uh, but, but babe, you should have avoided it. Are you not a woman? Some, some will flush it out. Avoid it? How exactly? You were the one who deflowered me. What did I know about sex? Tell me. Um, you know what? I think uh, we need to abort this baby before everyone gets to know about it. If my mother gets to find out about this, she will skin me alive. Better. So you, I don't care what you do, just oh, do everything to... possible so that yeah. nobody will find out, or my mom will find out. We need to terminate it. But, oh, there's a problem, babe. You know I don't have a penny with me, I don't have any money. What do we do to raise the money for the abortion? I don't have any money with me. <sighs> what do we do? That's a problem. Like, how how much how much will it cost to to do that? Uh, I don't know much, but um, the safest one should be like um, eighty to one fifty thousand. One fifty thousand? Yes, that's the problem. Yeah, where, where, where are we going to raise that kind of money? Well, you can't raise the money. What do you mean if? I mean, how can you do this to me now? How can you be punishing me unnecessarily? You, you, how can you? How can I do this to you? Did I, are you okay? You did this to me. If some girls flush it out, there, there's a way. There's a way that no, you should have even done it in the first place if you know how to handle this. You, you've, you've ruined my life. I'm done. Like I'm, I, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. We need to do something about this pregnancy because it's a big problem. It's a very big problem. Yes. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Where do we raise the money? Where do we raise the money, babe? Babe. I have an idea. Though it's crazy. What's the idea? Um, I'm afraid you may not like it. Can you just tell me about the idea? Then leave it to me. Let me know if I will accept or reject it. <sighs> okay. There's this guy that you told me that is trying to toast you. I went close to this young man and I, and I noticed that he's a prince and a wealthy guy. Babe, do you know that the few weeks I spent with this young man, if I tell you how much he gave me, you'll be surprised. 
So what are you saying exactly? Because I told you that he stopped coming on to me. Um. What? Go and seduce him. Stay with him for one night. And after one month, you will pin that pregnancy on him. And you will tell him that you're not ready to mother any child. That if your mother gets to know about this, <laughs> that your mother will kill you. Babe, and trust me, that guy will give you any amount you want. Are you insane? No, 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 no. Uh, this must be a joke, right? Because I really cannot believe that this is coming from you. You, you oh. asking me to go sleep with a man just because of money? For real? Honey, I am sorry. I know it's crazy. But that's the only best way for us to come out from this problem before it gets to our neck. I'm Come dead. on, be uh, just imagine if your mom gets to know. Can you not speak right that's... now, please? Don't 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 say anything. Oh, God. <laughs> Babe, can you just help me out? I know it's not nice. Uh, but, but can you just help me? Let's come out from this. That guy will give you any amount you want. Trust me. Yes. What did I get myself into? <sighs> can you do this because of the love you have for me? <gasps> Can you just take this risk because of the love you have? Can you hear yourself? Yeah, who is that? did you find me here? Well, a golden fish has no place to hide. Oh, I get. The prince obviously can't hide. Tell me, why did you stop talking to me? Because at some point you made me feel like I was bothering your life. And you decided to stop. But you should have tried harder. <laughs> not on your mind. That's not manly of you. Well, I wouldn't know if I am. I need to get something straight. You said the pregnancy that made me abandon the throne, abandon my people for the pregnancy that is not mine. I have to do any results here. Why, why did you do this to me? What did I do to you to deserve this? To even think that he said so many hurtful things about you. 
thousand a bit to make you change your mind. But you insisted on getting married to me. So why didn't you come to me? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't he ask me for money? Why did you people gamble with my life? Denise, he, your urge to, to have a child overshadowed you. We, 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 we didn't want it to, you took it too far. We didn't want this. You, 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 something we wanted to hide, you made it public. Why did you marry me then? When you know you don't love me? When I told Alex that you had rejected the throne, he said that. How could he reject the throne? That guy is an impersonal. What in heaven's name is wrong with that young man? You know, this whole idea you came up with has developed another problem. And you know he'll be coming after me, right? You need to accept him. What? Alex, are you insane? What are you even... You know, just tell me you don't love me. And I will understand. Tell me, I will go my way and... Uh, remember you lured me into this in the first place, right? Baby gay, I love you with all my heart. And I promise not to leave you. Listen, I have a plan. If only you can play it with me. The same awesome plan you had that's about to get me married to someone I don't even care about. Tell me, what are you plotting this time? If only you can give me the money Kim's mother gave to you. I want to run a business with it just for a few years. When everybody thinks he's over, I'll come and take you. Yes. What you said now, you know, does, it doesn't even make any sense, right? Do you, do, you, do you, can you even listen to yourself? What if I get pregnant for him? You try as much as possible not to get pregnant for him. That's why I said game. Let's play this game together. Okay? You are a woman. If a woman wants to get pregnant, definitely she will get pregnant. But if she doesn't want to get pregnant, she knows what to do. I trust you. And I know you can do this. I know you can do this. <laughs> Come on, baby. I know you can do this. So, I gave him the money. And he traveled. Now I see. Now I see why you made my home a living hell for me. You're heartless. You were a devil. You were a demon. So this is it. This is what I stand to gain after how many years of dedication to you. This, this is it. This is how you paid me back for sacrificing my life. My best man, this is it. This is it, right? Jay is not my son. Both of them are not yours. No, that can't be true. That is not true. Mimi is my daughter. It's in the DNA test. Look at the result. Look at it. She's not yours. You can you can choose not to believe this and take them for another DNA test. So whose child is she? Alex. This isn't what you promised me. You practically abandoned me here. You left me here. Why? 
You say, did I hear you say abandon? Come on, baby, I didn't run. I'm here with you. I didn't abandon you. I'm here with you. I only went to make money. Yes. Though the business I'm doing has not started doing well. And I promise you, once everything is settled, you know what I can do? I'll just come and take you back. <laughs> How long? How long am I supposed to wait for? Um, I'm not sure. But I think it's not going to take too long. Can't you see I am tired? I can't do this anymore. I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm... I can't continue like this. Hang on, baby. I love you. And I'm here for you. Okay? Trust me. Let's do this together. And I promise you, you won't regret it. Okay. and slept with another man. Come back home like nothing happened? This is what you've been doing all these years. I dedicated my life to you. I gave up my life to you. My birthright. You're sorry. I'm sorry, please forgive me. This thing is... He's, he's my first love. He's the only man I've ever loved. He's the one, he's the first man to have kind of knowledge of me. And he still holds a special place in my heart. I'm truly sorry. And you decided, you decided to do this to me? I, you think I can't do no, nothing? I don't know, please. Oh, please have to come. Do you know what you've done to me? I'm sorry, this has to, that is why I said we should talk so we can end this era we call in marriage. As I speak with you, the kids, our him is back to take us. She said, I'll let you go, Scott Ferrat. Why me? I think I will let you go. Move, move, let's go. Move, move. I me. Except for two of you, other elders have returned the portions of land that was given to them under their care. They have brought the documents. The documents have been reviewed and resolved. What is keeping the both of you? Your Highness. I have been very loyal to your father. I think it would be wise if you maintain that relationship with me. Was my late father aware that you have been selling the portions of lands that was given to you? Your Highness, <clears throat> I think there is a better way to go about this. Do not play with my intelligence. I am giving the board of you two weeks. Two weeks to return every document concerning those portions of lands. Else, I swear by the gods of our ancestors, if I swing into action, I will bring down every single thing I see on those portions of lands. And I have spoken. 
let the gods bear me witness. There's problem there. Serious problem. Yes, Okuchi, there is problem. Hi. Okuchi. Hmm? I will never go down without a fight. Let's go. Did you forsake me? Why me? Ah. There is no Why way me? I will forget you or forsake you. I'm here now. I'm here for you. I never forsake you. Um, I sent someone to find you. The person found you almost lifeless. What really happened? I exchanged the throne for love that never existed. I traded the crown for rags on the altar of deception. I can't take this. I can't believe you know this. No, my son. No. Uh, See. I am one less now. No. You are not. You are not my son. See. You came from the lineage of warriors that never lose any battle, no matter what. I'm here for you now. Together, we must conquer. You are not worthless. You are not useless. You will overcome it. me upside down. Oh, why me? I don't get you. You mean you let that boy reject the throne for a child that is not his? No, Mama, I never asked him to reject the throne. I only just, you know... When you shut up! When you shut up! What in heaven's name are you talking about? Huh? Mabel! I can't even begin to imagine the pain! The trauma, the stigma, the emotional damage that this boy will be dealing with that he might never heal from. If you must know, I already told him, I don't love him. Yes, I, I've, I've been trying. I, 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 can't, I, I, I can't force myself. I can't kill myself. I've done everything I can, but it seems that it's not working. I, I, I can't love him. I, I, I don't know. Maybe. Mama. <sighs> Where did you learn such wickedness? I can't believe in my widest dream that my own daughter will be this mean. Mabel, you knew you didn't love him, yet you lived with him and had another child for him. Why? Well, he's not, he's not my daughter's father. What's again? Hey! Mama, why are you shouting now? What you you heard say? me, you heard me. Alex is her father. Hi! Mabel! Mabel! See me. Let this ex that I step from bear me witness this day that I am not in support of anything you are doing. I wash myself and my family off any form of cause you want to bring to Mama, us what is this? to go to you. Mama, what is this? 
Are you laying a curse on me? No. I am only removing myself and my family members from the curse you've brought upon yourself. But you are my family. No. I am not your family. No member of my family can behave in this manner. No. So did you, did you, did you pick me from a, a dustbin or did you adopt me or something? I think you got it from your father's elder sister. She is so wicked. Wickedness runs in her blood. Hi! Mabel! Hi! Hmm? Has it not come to all I've said earlier? You are left with no choice than to vomit all you have eaten. If you go near, no, no. Ned, a what I'm equally say. This is height of disrespect. A boy I nurtured into the throne. His first duty. His first duty is to put me in problem. But I promise he will not succeed. I suggest you humbly go to him and confess all you have done. And beg him for his forgiveness. I will do no such thing. When I was fighting with my life, taking all the risk in this world to protect this land, he was not born. Just because he's a king. If not that, would he be talking where men like me are talking? I can ask for open open wine. But I know my words hold no water. And that is enough. Hey. Oh, no. ah. Enemies oh. of the drums, destroyers of the kingdom. I can't believe this. That a child I made him to reject the throne is not his. I cannot believe it myself. That was the height of wickedness. I just remembered one of the sayings of our father. That a head that a woman does not cut off will surely be in good terms with grey hair. What a woman did to a man. They almost killed him before they left him. Our people got there right on time, else he would have been a dead man by now. Maybe this is why it has been bothering me. He, he needs us now. He's so broken. I can imagine what is going through his mind. I can imagine. He is my brother. Now we need to take him back. But the problem is, if he would agree to come back after all this, I will help him find his feet again. But first, he has to be welcomed into the royal home again. May the gods bless you for this decision. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. 
find out from the nurses. Uh, are you people talking about my son? What happened to him? Calm down, ma. We are not talking about your son. Please, calm down. Okay, um, please. Where is my son? Actually, he stepped out of the hospital premises without no one knowing. I don't understand. Excuse me? Are you senseless? Are you stupid? How could you be this careless? How could you allow my son out of this premises? You had no knowledge of where he is. Oh my goodness. Ma, please, you have to calm down. I promise you, we'll look for him as soon as possible. Please. Yes. What do we do? Doctor! Doctor! Why me? 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 Oh, why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? The world has turned me upside down. Oh, why me? What is my face? Everything is turning upside down. Welcome home, my brother. One minute. That person she would tell me. At least let me apologize. But well, it pains me that I'm in this situation. Everything I have is lost. What am I living for? 
Let us go in front. You're welcome, my friend. Let's go inside. Why me? Oh, why me? 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 Oh, why me? Oh no. Did you hear what I heard today? What is it? As I speak with you now, hmm? he came, he's back to the palace. <laughs> that is not news. And I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> wait, wait. The most interesting aspect of it is that that girl that cost he came his crown was actually not pregnant for him. <laughs> what are you saying? Are you serious about that? I heard this from a very reliable source. You can go to the palace and confirm. And then you come and tell us. <laughs> Ichi Okuchi. Eh? If this is true, mm. then we are back in. Eh? <laughs> back in. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> ah, 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 enemies of the throne, destroyers of the kingdoms, men who are set for the well being of the kingdom. They are the ones walking ah. against the kingdom. Here comes a no. You're welcome. You may have a seat. <sighs> How is your wife in it? She's okay. She sent her regards. Oh. Tell her I send mine as well. You are looking as beautiful as ever. I know you can say that again. I heard that uh, he came his back. So I decided to come and see. Oh. Yes, he is back, but he's not in the palace right now. He went out. Honestly, I would like to see him. You know, it has been a while. I remember in those days how you took him as your son. Don't worry. If he comes back, I will tell him that you came. And he will like to see you. I think he will visit you. I would like to welcome him in my house. I will be waiting. Oh no, the king is around. Would you like to see him? Oh, you know, we had a meeting a few days ago. I will come and see him later. It's okay. Oh no. My warmest regards to your wife. Yes, all right. She will be here. <sighs> Enemies of the kingdom. DK, my brother, you don't have to leave the palace again. We need you around. Take a look at the palace. You will see the vacuum that your absence created is so much felt like the air that we breathe. Please do not leave. Oh, my brother, I, I need to leave. I have made up my mind to leave. Why? This is your father's house. You are the first son of this family. No matter what happens, I and everyone in this household will always accord you your respect as a first son of this family. 
We've missed you. You don't have to go. And more so, you would get your inheritance as the first son of this family. You will get every portion of land belonging to the royal household. Your inheritance as the first son will not be tampered with. Okay, Diabara, Anare Aziazo, Ochineme Diabara, and that position is yours. Thank you so much, Your Highness. Call me from India. It's on now. It's on now. Well, I'm not surprised. I've always known that you're born with greatness. You speak with so much wisdom. And that's one thing I admire about you. From Crado, I'm proud to call you my younger brother. The way you have carried the affairs of the kingdom is quite um, nebulating. But you see, I am sorry to disappoint you. This is something I have, you know, said to myself and of course planned. I don't want to stay here. I, I want to travel. I want to try out new things, you know. It's all about being the best version of myself. I trust that you can carry the affairs of this kingdom pretty well. I mean, you're already doing it impeccably. Except the fact that I... smoking on the throne is... I don't know. Is that okay by you? One name. I know I am the king. But your wisdom as the first son of this palace is needed to rule this kingdom. Biko, don't leave. It's okay, be a man. Be a man. Stay. Please. I can't stay. I can't stay. I trust that. Okay? You're still my brother. And I swore that I will respect you as my brother. I came to your house, you brought me here. Is here more comfortable than your house? I want to discuss something with you, and I don't want any other year to hear it. Okay. Do you know that you can still take back the throne? Take back the throne? <laughs> How is that possible? My, my brother is already the king. I am the traditional prime minister of this land. I know what I'm telling you. Your brother has been doing things childishly. And he doesn't take advice. My friend, stand up and take back what belongs to you. This is too heavy. So what are we going to tell the people? We will tell the people that you were deceived into believing that you impregnated a woman. But now that you have found out that it is not true, that you want to take back what belongs to you, be a man. <laughs> this will not be easy, okay? Uh, it's, it's not something you can just wake up one morning and say, this, this would definitely cause, cause problem. There must be trouble. 
Ikem, if you must be king, you should not be afraid of troubles. The number of troubles you overcome in your life determines how strong you are as a man. Eh? Oh no! <laughs> the process just began. Wow! I have planted the seed of discord. Mm -hmm. Let us wait for it to germinate. I hope you will not disappoint me on this. Ah! Oh no! I am with you. Eh? Whatsoever you want to do, just do it, and it is done. I trust you. I'm there. You are my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you see, when this matter began, eh. they are going to resist. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a lot of opposition. That's hmm? true. That's true. That's true. But I don't want you to succumb. Eh? Because if you do, the whole process will be useless. <laughs> and that nonchalant boy, eh. he will be more brutal. <laughs> this time, you know, this time, I will argue and insist as if my life depends on it. Hmm? You just table the matter to the cabinet. I will be there waiting to support you eh? if they don't accept. We will instigate the people of this kingdom against them <laughs> and everything will scatter. <laughs> it's your opportunity that is understatement. Uh -huh. If they don't accept, uh -huh. I will divide the community. Oh, who? And we will have our own king. That's it. Hmm? That's it. And that's just. Uh, you, you go, go, we have our own king. And he will favor us. Enemies of the truth. My good friend. Eh? It's good to have someone like you as friend. So, it is possible that I can get back the strong. Could it be that I can get back everything I have lost? This is unbelievable. But how will my brother feel? This would make him regret saving me. If I can be the king again, then I think that is all that matters. I wish he doesn't try to rest to the throne with me. I've lost it before. I can't afford to lose it again. Sometimes, I'm still asking myself this question. And up to now, I have not gotten the answer. How did this man manage to become our Prime Minister? Anemina, Rewa Punsionu for saying that. Yes. Are you not telling us that? Oh no, who is not making sense? Is that what you mean? <laughs> I'm not surprised. Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. I'm not surprised at all. Both of you are partners in crime. But let me tell you, I'm not part of this at all. Well, I'm not begging anybody to be part of it. But I know this is the right thing to do. Mm. And it is going to be done. Perfectly. That's all. Not when I'm still a member of this royal cabinet. In the history of this land, yeah. there has never been a time a sitting king has been destroyed for no reason at all. Oh! Uh, but there's always the first time, isn't it? Uh, eh? And this will definitely be the first time in our history such a thing will happen. No, no, no. Eh? Not when I'm still alive. Mbah, mm -hmm. Then get that... ready to die. Oh, oh. <laughs> More. No, because it will definitely happen. And none of you no. will be able to stop it. Not yet. Then, I cannot be part of this. Huh? Count me out. Just let me just pretend that I never discuss this with you all. Nah, me too. Nah. Me too. I'm out of here. Ah, you, ah. This, all of you, two of you, you can go to hell. And for, for all I care, who, 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 who sent you? <laughs> that is progress. <laughs> huh? Oh no, we wait. This progress is not enough. 
at all. <laughs> Ichi Okuchi, hmm? you are not seeing what I'm saying. Ah. <laughs> I trust you. I'm not the seeing. The plan is on and alive. Hey, I'm not seeing what you are seeing. Don't worry. Hey. I trust you. Destroyers of the kingdom, men who are set for the well being of the kingdom. If I can remember vividly well, before this time, you were the one that has always disturbed me to bring my brother back to the palace. What changed? I didn't bring him back here to rule this kingdom with you. There's nothing wrong with my brother ruling the kingdom with me. After all, he's my brother. I mean, if not for the omen of the evil girl, he would have been the one sitting on this throne. And besides, I was never interested in being king. I was, it was never my thing. It's, it's not as if I wanted him to be unseated. Last night, I saw him staring at this throne. I know he must be licking his wounds by now, wishing he was the one sitting on this throne. Well, I don't know what was actually going through his mind. But even the Bible says the heart of a man is desperately wicked. You know, some of us are born lucky and some of us create our locks. You're gifted. Your intelligence. And one thing about you is that your predictions are always accurate. So tell me, what do you predict at this point? I don't want to predict anything. I just want you to give your brother a couple of millions. Let him go and start afresh. I mean, if he continues staying here, one day, his mind will tell him something silly, and he will do it. I've never thought about this before. I will do as you advise me to. Because the truth is that I have been hearing some strange informations concerning my brother, which I don't want to believe. I don't know what you have been hearing, or if it has to do with him taking this throne back, then my fear is gradually coming to reality. What? He said so? Yes, my king. He said... None of us can do anything about this. Is there no one mad? The way I'm seeing him, he's mad. In short, he's out of his senses. Ichi and Eminem. Thank you. I would like to ask you a question. According to the custom and tradition of this kingdom, is it possible to relinquish this throne back to my brother? My king, let me be sincere. Whoever that the gods have accepted and in throne, no man has any right to dethrone the person. What if he is forced to step down? My king, <laughs> by then the gods will be angry. The gods will flee the community 
with sickness and diseases. Is a no aware of this? Yes, my king. He's aware. You know him. He's trying to create a mask that will cover all his evil deeds in this land. That's him. I am not ready to fight my brother for this throne. I am not. Though I am king, and it is my duty to protect this kingdom. If relinquishing this throne will infuriate the gods against our people, then I will fight for this throne. It is high time everyone understands that the little cub they used to know has grown into a full lion. That's my king. That's my king. <sighs> um, since you said you want to travel, that you don't want to stay back and rule this kingdom with me. Well, I thought about that. You know, given the fact that you're an adult and you know the best thing that you would love to. Um, I then decided within myself that, okay, I'm going to be giving you the sum of 20 million naira to travel with. There's no point. There's no point you know, I decided to stay back. Man, this is my kingdom. There's no point traveling, so yeah. I also heard from a reliable source that someone told you that you can get back the throne. Um, is there anything wrong with that? No. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. Yeah, because I want to know if you have a problem with that. Why would I have a problem with that? I mean, you used to be the happening to the throne, so why would I have a problem with that? But the fact is, um, I have a problem with the voice you've been listening to. And I want to say this to you, that the wrong mouth has been speaking into your ears. And that's not good for the kingdom. Not that. I... I'm an adult, like you said. I know what to listen to and want not to listen to what to crap out and want not to crap out so this is what i want this is my decision so what if i tell you that Onowu is not the man that you think that he is i mean Onowu is not what you think it is please one name it came don't allow Onowu to plant the seed of discord. Don't you talk about Onowu of this line. I only that want you to understand that. Don't Onowu say that. Do not say that. You need to listen to me, my brother. I you need don't to want to listen to you. Listen to Do me. not say that. If you must know, Onowu fought our late father. Everything he knows about this kingdom. That was then. He is a different man right now. That's a lie. Don't say that about him. What is going on here? Why are both of you shouting and raising your voices at each other? What is it? Onowu has been telling my brother seated here that he can get back the throne. Ah, why would he say a thing like that? I, I, I don't know. And I'm trying to explain to him that Onowu is no longer the man he used to be, but he wouldn't believe me. Listen to me, all right? By the time I'm done with my finance, the kingdom will know the whole truth. Like I said, I don't want to travel. I'm staying back. And I guess you have a problem with that already. He came. He came. Um, do you have any issues with Onu? I mean, why would he say a thing like that?
I'm asking you. Ono wants to play with me. By the time I am done with Ono, you will hear this curse, Mom. Why have you decided to bring in disputes into the royal family? Your Highness, I've not done anything wrong. Everything I'm doing, as the traditional prime minister of this land, I am doing it for the good of the kingdom. I put it to you that you have made up your mind to be an enemy to the royal home. Of what benefit will it be to you to prepare a meal that you will not be proud to partake in. If you are not my king, I would have said that you are a little boy. I've eaten animals that are uglier than frog and more poisonous than snake. And nothing happened. So I do not fear anything. As long as it is for the good of the people of this kingdom. Any day an elder decides to sing to his king's men in language they don't understand. He should make sure that he understands the chorus of that same song. I can hear you perfectly well. You have drawn a battle line. I said you have drawn a battle line. Enemies of the throne, destroyers of the kingdoms, men who are set for the well being of the kingdom. They are the ones. There is serious pandemonium in the palace as I speak. I heard the palace has been peaceful. Again. You can't peacefully get what belongs to you. Because whoever that is in possession of it is actually enjoying it. And it will be difficult for him to allow you to take it. But you know, I was almost dying off. I lost everything. But these people gave me a second chance, so it will look like... He can I'll... say no more. If you wear a smiley face, you cannot defecate. But it will be a shameful thing. For you to live like a common, where you were born to be the king. But I reject it for you. In my own time as the prime minister, I must do things rightly. Ikem, I will restore the throne of your little brother and give it to the rightful owner. He was not the person who brought you back. It was the gods that brought you back into the land. Stand up and take what belongs to you. Ikem. Are you sure the gods will be happy with me on this? Why wouldn't the gods be happy with you? Huh? Is it by mistake that you become the first son of the king? The gods punished you for leaving the throne in the first place. 
you might not be that lucky if you leave the throne again. You can stand up and fight for what belongs to you. Just know that somebody is there to fight with you. So tell me, now the both of you have succeeded in bringing in anti pestle firewood into the palace. I hope you're glad to witness the gathering of lizards. Izuna, you don't have to blame us for saving your brother from the clutches of death, do you? Should we have allowed him to die? Is that what you want? This is the reason I did not want to get close to anything concerning the king. I remember how you both came several to compel me to bring him back. I, I was trying to mind my business because that was the decision of our father. And now he's back. Okay, tell me, now that he's trying to cause havoc in the kingdom, what would the both of you do about it? Tell me. I've tried to talk to Ikem, your brother, but he chose not to listen to me. <sighs> I wonder why you know he's doing this. I, I, I can't find the answer. You should know that someone is instigating him to do this. And you should know why this person is tricking him into making this move. But how do I convince him? How do I explain to him that he's been used? How? Oh. I remember the words of my father on the throne. That kings don't cry. I will surely handle this. Hello. Something is bothering me. What is it, Ichiobuchi? What if it came turns against us after we must have helped him regain the throne? Oh, is it that? Huh? He cannot do that. Ah. The young man is too loyal to me. No, don't bother about that. Hmm. Izuna was loyal to you until he became the king. You know that power can be intoxicating. Hmm? <laughs> hey, nobody remains loyal after they must have gotten the power they seek. It's your good. Eh? <laughs> I'm saying my own. You have a point. You have a point. Uh, but I have an idea. Which is? <laughs> My friend! <laughs> they are in trouble. <laughs> I am finally ready to reclaim the throne that belongs to me. How do we start? <sighs> Before we go on this mission, there is something I want us to do so that I can have confidence while going on the mission with you. Something like what? I want you to take a note with me an oath promising me that you are going to be loyal to me after regaining the throne. But I've always been loyal to you. Yes. But after what I am seeing from your brother now, I think it is very important that you take this oath. So, where do we take this oath? At the shrine of Opera. Shrine of Opera. No, that's a deadly shrine. That's 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 like a very deadly deity. It came that is to make you understand how important it is at this time. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a thought, but that 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 can't be today. It is all right. It's already late today. We can do it tomorrow. Ah! Uh.
Do you... Do you have any problem with your noble? Yes. As a matter of fact, Onowu and one other elder has been selling the community lands. Really? And when I confronted Onowu concerning that act, Onowu did not show any remorse. Yanafu claiming that he's on his rights. What? That is wrong. Why would you do that? Even the king has no right to sell the community land for his personal gain. That's absurd. Ever since I started pressuring Onowu to return back the community land, Onowu has been looking for all devices, all ways to get back at me. That is why he is trying to use you against me. <laughs> I should have thought of this. God, why did that? <laughs> Everything is clear now. I should have known this. Do you know that this man told me to swear that I'm going to be loyal to him if I become king? <laughs> and I'm like, that's, that's a taboo. Huh? That is against the customs and tradition of this land. A king is answerable to nobody, especially his subjects. So when he said that, I know something is definitely wrong somewhere. So, I know we could actually go to such estate. I swear. <laughs> oh, no. You know, it's clear. You know that's favorite saying of our people. No more like a military man would deny. I keep here, God will hear the arrow. You see, funny enough, Onowu is the person that taught me everything I know about the tradition today. As a matter of fact, he taught me the tradition of the same thing that he is going against at the moment. Exactly. He did the same. He taught me everything. That man used to be a good man, that I know. I, I wonder what changed. I want to beg you. Please, don't allow a no to destroy this kingdom. Hey, I'm even angry that I, he fooled me for some time because I should have known this. I should have. He's too old to deceive me to go to that extent. I mean, I feel bad. D did Father teach you how to use the staff? No, he didn't. Maybe he couldn't teach me about it before he passed on because he was always in agony. He should have. I mean, this, this is supposed to be the number one priority. It's meant to be the first thing to learn about kingship. This is your shield. With this staff, you're immortal. This staff is very powerful. With it, you can command. This is your power. This is everything that makes you a king. With this staff, you're immortal. As long as you know how to use it and when to use it. This is your authority that makes you a king. this kingdom without you, my brother. Please, teach me. Oh, hey, 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 
enemies of the throne, destroyers of the kingdom, men who are set for the well-being of the kingdom. They are the ones walking against the kingdom, committing atrocities in the kingdom. Evil men in the land. No. No. I'm going to the palace. I just had a bad dream. A bad dream? A very terrible one at that. What is it about? I hope you're not going to the palace to hurt the king. To hurt the king? Eh? Ha! Udugu. Anwana we are not tiny. You must have seen a vision. It is not a dream. I thought the king said that he has grown into a bigger lion. I am going to the palace to see how much God he has to challenge me in this kingdom. <laughs> Are you now saying you are greater than the king? Is he supposed to bow to you or you are to bow to him? I am a king maker. I should have certain leverage in this kingdom. If they don't acknowledge my greatness in this land, then I will show them that no matter the length of a cobra, no one can use it to tie firewood. When he's alive. <laughs> Enemies of the throne, destroyers of the kingdom, men who are set for the How dare you know this the kingdom? How? The ones walking against the kingdom, committing atrocities in the kingdom. Hi. Evil men in the land. Oh, enemies of the kingdom. My brother asked me to invite you all for a general meeting. But before then, I would like to seize this opportunity to say a very big thank you to you all. I mean, for finding me worthy to have made me a king. Igwe. Igwe, we also thank you for believing in us mm -hmm. as your cabinet. Yes, sir. Your Highness, one thing I love about you is that you are very, very wise. Ah, very wise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've realized that uh, power might change hand after the general meeting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Let me go straight to why I summoned this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> As I raise the staff of authority of kingship in this kingdom, the sacred staff of our forefathers, if there's anyone among my cabinet chiefs that has been going around to plant the seed of destruction in this kingdom, let the gods strike! Oh my god. It's your good. 
I can't see. Hmm? Eh? Ichi Hmm? I can't see too. Hey! I told you. I told you. I'm not seeing you. I'm not seeing you. Oh my God! Oh my God! Your Highness, Oru Ben and Dan. Why you allow them anywhere close? This palace never again. Guys, take away this man from this palace. Oh my God! From this day, you are the new traditional prime minister of this kingdom. You were rewarded for your kindness and truthfulness. Honesty should be rewarded. Enemies of the throne, destroyers of the kingdom, men who are set for the well being of the kingdom. They are the ones working against the kingdom, committing atrocities. Yes. Can you please call my wife? Your wife? Yeah. Okay, she's coming. What happened? Oh, get it. Okay. What happened? Get him What what happened to him? <laughs> the ghost of the land made him blind. Ono oh, here can still speak. So Ono, oh, tell your wife what's happened to you. Ubu Ago. Ago. Ubu Ago. What happened to the lion you went to kill? Oh, give me My sweetheart. Mm-mm. I'm also. Because um, something that is bigger than Ant has met Ant in his home. Please, please, go to the palace and beg the king. Beg the king on your behalf. If I regain my sight, I will definitely be a changed person. Then if you even want me to be a pastor, I will do it for you. Hey, my Lolo. Baram. Hey! Ago! Oge de fa! Ago, ago, ago! Oge na yo biko! Hey! Ago ana dike dimpa aneji kakataka neji o de kan neji akataka o de kan nemi fojo you see it ya hun kule mego omero omego nunu you see the emperor dot okwe fuke you 
You have seen the end product. If I do a job, I just saw if I do a soldier, I do. I will end product. Eh? You see it? Let me tell you what you don't do. Okay, fool. Kolishonga, eh? You will bear it alone. No. You will bear it alone. Uh. Man, Tinyaka, trust me when I say mm, uh. that you will bear it alone. Sogi, Onwegi, Deji, Sigibu. Who? Your wife. Yeah, when I was saying it, did you hear me? Yeah, no, man. Igalomonti, Uno Denja. Omo wani uno de nka why am I going to me me e u maka do tell me what i will do me i will more dogu i will mon kama if go dey na ko e na for fana fana and eji e na for mozo dimba dimba ni fe dike you have seen it if you go na no no you have seen it you so bad raw you say that the woman's place is in the kitchen kita na gas na my kitchen na my na my office can je no do you will bear this alone hmm? yes you will bear it alone amen Ned, I can hear your footsteps. Are oh. you leaving me here? Oh, the no, no. Ah. Oh, the you take me inside now. Ned, take me inside. Oh, Enemies of the kingdom. I mourned because that was the greatest shock of my life, says my late father. I want you all to stop disturbing Ikem because he has decided to go overseas. He's an adult and he has the right to choose for himself what suits him. All he needs is our prayer and our prayer shall go with him. He is my brother and I love him so much. I know I'll miss him. Nevertheless, I am so grateful to him. What did you mean? The deepest mystery in the staff of kingship. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. To honor this throne, I denounce this. This is gone and gone forever. I quit. This to honor our late father. It is time. To rule this kingdom. Thank you, my son. For choosing the path of peace. I'm proud of you. If the dead can say, I know your father will be happy wherever he is. Thank you also for quitting the habit of smoking. I've been looking forward to this day. I'm proud of you. And I'm very proud of you too. You are the reason he came, came back. May the gods bless you. He say, thank you, my queen. you to both of you. Together we shall rule this kingdom in good faith. 
beyond the imagination of our enemies. You see? Uh, enemies of the throne, destroyers of the kingdom, men who are set for the well being of the kingdom. They are the ones walking against the kingdom, committing atrocities in the kingdom. Evil men in the land, oh, enemies of the kingdom. of the kingdom yeah. so but no matter what happens the girls are watching there's always a payback for every wickedness oh, by evil men triumph but only for a while then justice arise and take it cause yeah evil men in the land Enemies of the kingdom, they are so evil men in the land. Oh, 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 oh. Enemies of the kingdom, they are so enemies of the truth.